Shalawan. I want to start off by giving all praise to see how Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rekwak Kudash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in sincerity and truth on the four corners of the earth. And uh, it's back with another quick lesson. All right. I'm going to start in Psalm 73 and 25. It says, Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides thee. All right. And of course, that scripture is talking about Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. Who else do we have to depend on? You know, who else do we have in heaven or on earth but Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai? Because, you know, man, and when I say man, I'm speaking on the Israelites, you know, left up to their own devices is, you know, wicked. You know, us trying to make our own decisions, us trying to maneuver through any situations without, you know, acknowledging Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or putting our trust, <clears throat> excuse me, putting our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it always comes to naught. We always fail. All right. So, you know, on this walk, you know, who else do you have but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? All right. Whether you up, you know, whether you down, you know, no matter what you're going through, you know, you got to depend on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. To sustain you. Because right, even when we go through so-called good times, we still in a horrible place. You know what I'm saying? Nothing really lasts any, 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 let's say, joy or you know, any shit like that. It don't last anyway. All right? So we pray for your help, Shimi Awashai, to guide us through everything, man. All right? But it says, uh, continuing on, my flesh and my heart faileth. But Yahweh is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. All right, my flesh and my heart faileth. All right, because, you know, sometimes, you know, in this thing, you know, you fall on your face, man. You know, your flesh, you know I mean, you know, there's these chains of darkness in your heart, even your mind will fail. All right. Now, of course, we know when we get them new bodies and, and, and what the scripture says is the better promises, we're not going to deal with that no more because we're going to be perfect. But in this place, you know, your flesh and your heart will fail. It'll, it'll fail you. You trust in it and you trust in, you know, well, this is what I got to do, you know. You try to make decisions of your own. That's why the scripture says trust in the Lord with all your heart. All right. And uh, lean not on uh, your own understanding. That's your heart feeling. As soon as you, you know, and we know in the Hebrew word, for your heart is alive, which is actually your mind, not the actual muscle in your, tre your chest that we call a heart. Your heart is your mind. And your mind will fail you <clears throat> if you if you begin to, you know, try to make decisions on your own. Because, you know, when we try to make decisions on our own, you know, you deviate from... You know, the scriptures. You know, we only so smart. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got... We have people in this world that are te intelligent... Excuse me, that are intelligent by the uh, standard of this world. Like, you, some people are intelligent. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, no matter how high of a level of intelligence they have... It will eventually fail them because they're not trusting in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You Israelites, so, so scripture say, "My flesh and my heart faileth." Alright, but Yahweh is my strength. But Yahweh is the strength of my heart. Meaning, even when your flesh and your heart fail, or I fail you at times, it, it don't. It, it didn't shake your faith. You didn't. Something didn't happen, and then you just totally turned your back on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah and said. You know what, I can't do this no more. Because anybody, you know, with any amount of wisdom, you know, whether you hear in, in the faith and in the truth, you know, or you go back in the world, you're still going to suffer. You know, it's, not, it's no escaping it. It's curses. You can't escape them. It even say in the curses that these curses sell, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, pursue you and, and overtake you. So, you know, 
and say somebody gets a smart idea, I'm well in America, so I'm gonna go to Australia, and, and the curse is gonna follow you. You still gonna be under the curses, man. So, you know, getting back to the point of the scripture, if your heart and your f- flesh fail you in a certain situation, just keep the faith. Still know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the strength of your heart. And you can turn it back around. If you if you show the diligence, if you show the want to, if you get a reason, you have to give the Lord a reason to have mercy on you. Not just pray for mercy, you know what I'm saying? That's what niggas in the world do. You know, nigga, nigga, nigga get hit. With a damn lawsuit, for example, let's say that. I don't know why. That's the first thing that popped in my mind. And nigga praying to the Lord all of a sudden. But you haven't done anything leading up to that point where the Lord should get you out of that situation. So you're really praying for not. So once again, even if your heart and your flesh fail, you just gotta keep the faith, man. Ain't nobody going to show up to this thing perfect. Who's going to stand before the Most High and be able to tell him, you know, what he actually does, that's good. You think the Most High is going to go down the list of everything you did good? Because the scriptures say you be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. The Most High wants perfection. Now, we know that we can't be perfect, but continue to do things that uh, will have the Most High have mercy on you, man. You know? And you see that, like, you know, I seen... Uh, you know, as we've all seen, you know, people come and go. And, you know, the people that go back and say, like, you might have somebody who, who's clearly wrong for what they're doing, and all of a sudden they bucking up, and, you know, this brother won shit, and that brother won shit, and apostles and elders in the Great Millstone, they won shit. And, you know, all of a sudden, you know, everybody becomes your enemy because your heart and your flesh fail. But somebody who's going to continue to keep the faith in Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai is going to do that. An example of that, you know, I'm not going to get it, but the example of that uh, was King David when he uh, committed adultery. You all know, know the story. And you remember Shemaiah was like letting him have it, you know, this bloody man, this, that, and the third, you know. But King David kept his integrity, although he had the power right in that moment to go have that man life to kept his integrity, the man right. I can't fight him on it. So don't try to, you know, no, don't be prideful and, and try to fight back at everything if you're clearly the one that's in the wrong. Just, you know, repent, keep your faith, and go on and do what you got to do, which is preach this word, all right? But uh, it says in my portion forever, all right? But Yahweh is the strength of my heart and my portion forever, meaning I will not lose my faith ever. No matter what obstacle is thrown in front of you, that's the mind state you should have. Nothing can happen to me that's going to make me lose my faith. You know? But, uh, I'm going to hop to Proverbs uh, 20 and 9. <clears throat> it says, uh, Who can say I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin. All right. See, that's another thing when your heart. Going back to uh, Psalms 73 and 26, when your heart and your flesh may fail you, you, you may feel defeated. All right, but scriptures clearly say who, who, who can stand before anybody and say, you know, I, I don't go off. I never did this. I never did. Well, it may be some things that some brothers may have been into that other brothers weren't into, you know, but nobody's going to stand before you and be perfect. All right. So going back once again to Psalm 73 and 26, if your heart and your flesh fail you, you know, just know it's bound to happen and it's going to continue to happen. That's the scriptures describe our flesh as chains of darkness once again. You know? But even with that being said, I mean, don't, you know, like the scriptures also say the Lord don't give nobody no license to sin, so you're still responsible. But, Responsible for your actions, but as the scripture also said, offend less. Just keep going, man. It's you just got to be willing to keep fighting in this thing. Don't get defeated, and that comes with you know your heart failing. 
you know, like scripture say, the plague of the mind, you, you know, 